Um, Matt Gonzalez, uh, you have a huge victory here tonight. It's going to get roundly criticized. Well, I'm not so sure about that. I mean, I think it's always been um, a relatively simple case, to be honest with you. The physical evidence has always supported the finding that this was an accidental occurrence. And I think the jury uh, came to that conclusion. In your statement just now, you didn't waste any time attacking President Trump. Why was that? I didn't attack him. I just stated something that's obvious, which is we all have the protections of the presumption of innocence and reasonable doubt standard. And I just think that people need to really reflect on that before they start criticizing a verdict. And, and so I'm saying, look, before you do that, you yourselves get this protection. I get it. We all get it. That's what it is to, to be in this country. Matt, what do you say to the Steinle family tonight? Well, you know, I really uh, have the utmost respect for them. I, I offer condolences. And I just have to say, they should not interpret this verdict as diminishing their loss. It's not about that. Uh, the reality is we have 300 million guns in our society, you know, 40 or 50 accidental shootings every day. Somebody dies every day. And this is just a tragedy, what happened. Do you think there was one key piece of evidence in your presentation that swayed the jury one way or another? Was it the ricochet? Was it the grainy surveillance video? I think the physical evidence, I mean, once you're talking about the ricochet and the, the length that it has to travel before it hits Ms. Steinle in the back. And you consider that Mr. Garcia Zarate had no history for violence. He didn't know her, didn't have a bad interaction with her. Um, I mean, candidly, it just, it, 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 it really pointed to this result. The problem is so many people will say he, he should not have been in this country and he should have been convicted at least of involuntary manslaughter. But you know, there's so many other people that could have picked up that gun and most likely would have. Someone working for the Department of Public Works, you know, picking up trash on the pier. Uh, some other tourist, some other American citizen could have walked along there and picked it up. Uh, but at the end of the day, the jury obviously did not ignore what we presented to them in terms of the number of people at that seat and the lack of history for Mr. Garcia Zarate. I think it's a good verdict. What happens to your client now? Will he be deported? Well, we'll um, be back in court in a couple of weeks to discuss the one charge that he was convicted of. Uh, we will not be representing him in the federal matter, and so I don't have any comment or opinion about that. I have to ask you, how are you feeling about this uh, victory for you tonight? I, I, I feel good, but I also, I have to say, I don't feel like I need to be congr congratulated for the outcome, to be totally candid with you. Uh, the physical evidence dictated this outcome. I'm just the lawyer that helped guide it along, but really this is... This is what the physical evidence pointed toward. Matt, stand by. Uh, Martha McCallum in New York has a question for Matt. Yes, uh, thank you, Matt. We just watched your comments moments ago. Um, you know, it's a difficult comparison to make to say that the president is, is you know, and some of his people are under investigation. Uh, they're American citizens. This man was deported from this country five times. And as you talk about the fact that anyone could have found that gun, it was found by an illegal alien. He fired that gun and it shot this young woman. Uh, so, so how do you, how is that not involuntary manslaughter? And how can you make a comparison with the president of the United States and this man? Uh, Martha, Matt does not have an earpiece in, so I will try to paraphrase, paraphrase your question for him. Martha's asking, uh, how can you make a comparison uh, with this man and with President Trump when he should not have been in this country? Why was this not involuntary manslaughter? It's not involuntary manslaughter because in order to prove it, the prosecution had to prove brandishing of a weapon, which is in a rude, angry, or threatening manner, and criminal negligence, which would be that he knew that he had a gun and he handled it in a way that was dangerous to others. The jury clearly rejected that, having heard the evidence. I, I do not mean to compare Mr. Garcia Zarate to, Mr., or to our President Donald Trump. I have the utmost respect for the pre President of the United States. I'm just saying, before you start tweeting or commenting on this outcome, just reflect on the fact that all of us get these protections. We get, uh, you know, a right to a jury. We get these uh, burdens of proof. And, uh, you know, uh, we have to respect that a jury that spent this much time on this case 
uh, uh, you know, got it right. We understand that the jurors asked to see uh, the gun today. What do you think happened with that? And they came back with a verdict just a few hours later. Well, they, they looked at a lot of evidence, heard a lot of readback. So I don't, it would just be speculation for me to comment on that. All right, Matt, All right. I'll let you go. Matt okay. Gonzalez, uh, the, public, the public defender, chief public defender here in San Francisco, came right out of the Hall of Justice uh, to talk with us here at Fox News and to uh, yeah. let us know that this is not necessarily a night that he will be celebrating, but uh, a night where he feels that this jury reached the correct verdict given the evidence, again, largely circumstantial evidence presented during the trial, Martha. Claudia, thank you very much. Claudia Cowan on the scene there uh, and getting the first interview with Matt Gonzalez.